What's up guys, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys, Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys how to get your VSTs and all of your plugins to show up inside a cakewalk. I know a lot of you have been asking me that and guys, I really tried to do my best to try to get around to it but there's a lot of people asking me for different tutorials and i'm trying to knock them out as much as i can as soon as possible so guys just bear with me but in this video i'm gonna help you get your bsts as well as your plugins to show up inside a cakewalk so let's jump into it all right guys so once you launch the program it's gonna tell you that it's scanning all your vsts and it's gonna let you know the number of vsts that you have found mine obviously found all mine and no new ones because i haven't put any new ones in a folder okay so what you need to do is first off you want to just go ahead and make sure that you actually have plugins okay so we're going to go here to the console view and then what you want to do is just go ahead we're just going to scroll up on here <clears throat> and if you notice on mine if i click uh effects right here if you hit the plus button it should basically, if you go to insert audio effects, it'll basically let you know all the plugins that you have on a computer, okay? And you can categorize them either by the particular um, type of plugin or by the manufacturer. It's really up to you, okay? So you can go to plugin layouts from either sort by category, manufacturer, or type, okay? Either one of those, but as you can see, I have like a whole list of plugins that I may have, okay? So now, if you have Waves plugins, if you have VSTs or any type of plugins and they're not showing up, this is what you need to do. So you need to go to navigate to your computer or this PC if you're on a PC. I'm going to go to my file explorer and then I'm going to go find my um, this PC. OK, so I'm going to click here. And then what I personally want to do in my particular situation is find my C drive. Uh, definitely you too as well because it's likely where yours is you just want to go to program files okay once you go to program files down here where it says cakewalk you should have a folder cakewalk and once you go to cakewalk you should have a folder that says vst plugins okay once you do that this is letting you know all the plugins that you have inside a cakewalk if you don't see any of your plugins inside of this folder you need to go find those plugins, okay? And the way that you find those plugins is this way. You go back, and once you go back, there's two different places I typically go. Um, in this particular folder, I'll just go to the Steinberg folder. If you have a folder in here that says VST plugins, go to that one as well. Okay, so let's just go to VST plugins. And what you can do is just pretty much highlight and copy all your DLL files by hitting either highlighting them or hitting control A. And then once you do that, you don't need any of these folders. So I just pretty much take, you can take a shift click. So hold down shift, click the first one all the way to the last one. And then you basically highlight everything that you have. So then after that, you just want to right click it and you go to copy. Okay. Once you go to copy, what you need to do is just go to that cakewalk folder again vst plugins and all you do is just copy you right click it and you go to paste once you paste that you paste all those files in this folder you'll be good to go the next thing that you will want to do is go to your steinberg folder okay steinberg typically have a lot of vsts as well so you just go to steinberg double click that vst plugins as you can see and you can just hit Control a and I'm just going to copy these. And what you want to do in the process is just go ahead and go back to that cakewalk folder. And you want to go ahead and go open that VST folder again. Right click it and hit paste. Okay. Now I'm just going to basically paste all those in this folder. If you already have them, uh, you can just pretty much say either skip or replace these files. Either or it's up to you. So Whichever ones that I may have or you may not have in there, just put skip. If it asks you to replace, then go ahead and replace them if you need to, okay? So in this particular case, if I just hit replace, uh, you do this for all items because we'll already have that in there. And we just hit okay. 
Okay, boom. And it just pretty much replaced all those files. Now, once you basically close Cakewalk, we're just going to reopen it again. For some of you, you may need to restart your computer, but you shouldn't have to. Okay. So we're just going to go to run as administrator. Now, when you do that, you want to make sure that all your VSTs and all your plugins from every program that you installed is installs to your VST folder on your computer. Okay. Whether that be your programs files, and I'll go ahead and show you that too. Because there's two different locations that these files tend to go ahead and install. Sometimes it's the program files and whatever the company it comes from, like, you know, Antares or Air Music or, you know, um, Steinberg or whatever the program is. Or the VSTs are going to save there. Now, sometimes a lot of your files may save to your program files x86. And it's the same concept over here. You just pretty much go here. And you go to VST plugins, okay? And you'll have a bunch of VST plugins in here. You take all the DLL files, okay? Sometimes, if you don't install it right, some of your VSTs will go to the company um, programs folder instead of your VST. Uh, what you can do, like as you can see on this side of the program files 86 for Cakewalk, there's nothing in here. So you have to go to the program files on this regular folder, okay? Once you go ahead and do that, you just reopen Cakewalk. I always like to right click it and run everything as administrator. That's just me. I think I have less issues while doing that. Once I open this at the bottom, it's going to say searching for uh, plugins and whatever else stuff I put in there. It'll say if it's new. If they're not new, you're not going to find any new ones. OK, so if I just open up a session or whatever that I have a lot of my plugins with, you know, we can just go in and double check. OK. So again, you just go to the console view. And then once you go to the console view, we're just going to scroll up here. We're going to go here. And like I said, you just want to go ahead and check your folder. And if you see your plugins there, your plugins are going to be there and everything is going to be good to go. Again, if you want to change how your VSTs are set up, you just go to plugin layout. And if you want to do it by manufacturer, you just go ahead and change this to sort by manufacturer. So now once I go ahead and look at my plugins, check this out. Insert audio plugins. Now it's telling me, okay, Antares, Auburn Sounds, Cakewalk, Celemony, Isotop, uh, Overload, Slate Digital, whatever the case may be. I personally don't like doing it like this because it's so many plugins that I have to try to scroll through. So I just go to the top and I sort mine by uh, category now you can do it by type as well if you just want to see what that look like i'll go ahead and show you insert audio and this is pretty much by type so either vst uh, 3 or vst 2 or direct x i personally don't like it like that so i go back and i sort mine by category when i sort mine by category everything is pretty much already set up ready to go i know where my um, dynamics is my EQs, my guitar mastering plugins, modulation, everything that I pretty much need, my reverbs, everything has its own specific category and it's more organized that way. So yeah. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments and let me know what you think. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this in the future, be sure to hit that notification bell. And guys, as always, stay tuned for the next video. Ciao.